Welcome to this video. In this video, we will see how to interface RFID with IO Link and Siemens S7 1200. RFID is quite commonly used these days in Industry 4.0 concept, in which we are actually putting the tags in the palettes or in the workpiece so that it can be tracked anywhere in the process. So this is a very common way to track your object, to track your products in the process lines so that we embed RFIDs in the palette or in the object itself so that we can track it anywhere. All right, one of the examples I would like to show you now is for example, if you see this system here. Now here I have an RFID sensor or RFID read write head, okay? And if I play this environment, here this RFID is used to see which object was crossed at this particular moment, okay? For example, if you see from this side, we have the objects coming from here, and this is an RFID read write, and it is reading the RFID which is embedded on the object. So if you see from here, this, this white part is an RFID. Okay, I will pause it here to show you more clearly. So if I pause here, and if you see at this part, this is the RFID tag, which is which is printed or which is attached to the object. And this is reading. So the information which you can get here is this box has passed this RFID at this particular time. So this is just for, the exa for an example, I'm trying to show you how we can read it. So this is what we are going to learn in this, in this section. So if I show you my PLC program, and if you see here, exactly what we are going to do, So if you see this part like this, maybe a little bit here. Okay, now I have made a sample logic in which I'm going to test it. So for example, if I maybe minimize it. Okay, so you see here some values. This was 6847 and it has crossed that RFID sensor at this date and time. This is the date and that's the time. Okay, now I have to start the logging. So I will, stay, I will say true. And once I start logging, the sensor will start reading the information. Now you can see that the job one is empty. So when this will pass across the sensor, this is the RFID inside it. This is my second job and that's the time when it has crossed through the sensor. The next object is coming here in this DB and so on. So it will keep making a log of which object has passed at this location at this time. So we have a timestamp, we have an RFID, which is a unique number written in the tag, okay? This is what we are going to learn in this section, how we can, how we can basically track the information from the object using RFID, okay? So we'll just pause it at a moment. So what are the things required to achieve this application? You need a Siemens PLC, if you have, it's perfect. And then you need, you need an IOLink Master AL1100. Now I'm using an IOLink Master from IFM because my RFID read write head is supporting IOLink interface. So IOLink is an interface by which you can read write the information quite conveniently compared to the other ways. And if you haven't seen my video on IOLink Master, I would highly recommend you to check that out. To check that out. The link is given in the description and that video is also in my YouTube channel. You can also see that. I have detailed explanation of how to use IOLink Master, how to link it. Perhaps you will also find this video in this course. And then you need some RFID tags, okay? The software I'm using is only Siemens TR Portal with some additional libraries which are free or free to download from the IFM website and those you require basically to configure the IOLink master. All right, what we are going to learn in this section, we have some tasks defined, so we will do this task one by one. Starting with adding IOLink master in the Siemens S7-1200 network. So I will be telling you how to add this IOLink master. So if you see my network here, I have this IOLink master. So how to add it in this network? How this block came? How do I add this block? How do I configure this block? That's the first task. Configuration of AL1100 ports. Now, if you see here, we have inside this, we have some ports. This is a port one, this is a port two. So how to define these ports? For example, this, this port I'm using for RFID. So how to define this port? 
what are the steps required we will see that assigning the db for il il 1100 to read write the rfid tag information we will also do some um, we will assign a db where i will show you where i'm reading and writing the tag information which, which means these tags how i'm doing that testing read write operation of rfid read write head hs this is high frequency so basically we'll make some test how to read the values in front of this rfid head and how to write the values so we will test that so basically initially we will be working on the hardware devices io link master and this rfid read write head and the tags and the fifth is write a plc algorithm to buffer the rfid information from the tags along with timestamps so in the end basically i will show you how an rfid tag can be read by this RFID read write along with a timestamp and how do we store that in a PLC DB. So in the end, what, which, which you have seen here, I will be telling you how to make this algorithm, how to store the data so that you can use it later on. So these are the five tasks which we will be doing in this RFID section. All right. So in the next video, I will start with my first task and that involves some hardware. So I'll be using my camera to show you the hardware itself and I will show you how to rewrite the text. So it will be fun. So I'll see you in the next video.